Hi, Anissa Coy here with Firehouse Education and this week's Ask Anissa video column. And our question this week came to me via email and it's from Abby. And Abby's question is, to what extent of cleaning do we go to to get the smoke and soot covered item clean? As a restoration company, is it our responsibility to get the item back to pre-fire condition or are we expected to get the items back to looking brand new? Now, Abby, you're probably going to get a different answer to that question depending on whether you ask an adjuster or whether you ask the homeowner. So um, I'll answer it coming from a restoration cleaning contractor. Um, you need to get the item back to pre-loss condition is the simple answer. However, that being said, if you're cleaning an item to get the smoke and soot off and there also happens to be some grease buildup or um, finger marks or things like that on the item that you can clean off at the same time without spending an exorbitant amount of time on that item, then I would recommend that you clean that item even though uh, to that extent removing that dirt and grime and grease even though we know it wasn't caused by the fire there's a couple of reasons that i would say this and again i said if you do not have to take an extensive amount of time we want to be very careful because if we just clean off the smoke and soot is our only concern when we're cleaning items um, to uh, get back to a homeowner. We are going to have some difficulty when the homeowner starts unpacking items and we say we've cleaned the item and yet there's still you know, grease or grime on it. Uh, for instance, one of the big areas that you're going to come across this is in a kitchen where there's a lot of cooking that goes on. So we want to be very careful to be sure and not go, okay, well, right here's the line we have to clean to to get the smoke and soot off, so that's it, not going any further. I always go a little bit above that line. We also don't want to go so far above that line, though, that our adjuster says, whoa, whoa, I'm not paying you all this extra money to clean these people's house because they don't clean it themselves, okay? So it's kind of a tricky balance, but the answer to that question is you would your job is to get that item back to pre-loss or pre-fire condition however i would tell you as a customer service part of our job i would be definitely willing to clean just a little bit past that bar on items to make sure that my homeowner is satisfied and happy and sometimes i will go way past that bar if i want to give back to my client and i don't charge for that cleaning but i may take a special item to them and really go above and beyond to restore it and i just do that on my own dime as part of my wow client experience that i do all right well thank you so much abby for your question i hope that answered it for you very well please be sure and subscribe to our youtube channel so you get lots more goodies um, and can keep up with all the latest posts and be sure you are subscribed to the rnrmagonline.com's e-newsletter so that you get this and lots of other goodies every friday in your email inbox so until the next video i will see you Thank you.